Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport for today's preview. Glasgow Warriors versus the Stormers. Uh, probably the game of the weekend with regards to uh, the URC with the quarterfinals are reaching um, the, the sort of crunch time in this game because it will be the final quarterfinal of the weekend. And uh, so they'll know exactly who, uh, what's at stake, for example, with regards to, you know, home semifinals um, or, you know, who they could potentially play in the semifinal and stuff like that. So it's going to be a very cool game. I also think it's the, team, it's the game with the teams that are most evenly matched. Um, you know, I think the Glasgow Warriors side have been fantastic throughout the season, but have sort of fallen off a little bit towards the edge, um, but have really shown that they've been, uh, you know, one of the top teams in the competition. But they've come up against a former champions and uh, side has been in, in two consecutive URC finals. So this has really been the Stormers competition. You know, they have dominated the URC in the initial two seasons, and they'll be looking to go at least semifinals, if not even one better. But they'll have to do it on the road. And uh, so it's a bit of a different uh, circumstance to what the Stormers are used to. They've had two home URC finals, for example. That won't be the case for them um, this, this season unless, you know, the bizarre actually happens. Uh, but before we look at the two teams, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with Glasgow Warriors. And you'll be captained by South African-born uh, Carl Stain, who's back into the side. In the front row, it is Jamie Batty, Johnny Matthews, and Xander Ferguson. Um, it's quality, international quality in that front row, but there's also international quality in the, the Stormers front row as well. Scott Cummings will partner Richie Gray. You've then got a loose of Matt Ferguson, Rory Dodge, and Jack Dempsey. So, you know, international quality amongst international quality is basically almost a Scotland pack, uh, to be perfectly honest. And uh, I think it's a pack that can that can contend with a very good Stormers pack, um, which has been named. And I think that that sort of battle on a 40, 40 pitch will be very interesting. Um, now, George Horn will partner Tom Jordan in the halfback pairing. The back three will be Carl Stain, Sebastian Cancellera, um, and Josh McKay. And then in the centers, Hugh Pilato, as they are fondly known, Sion Hugh Pilato, Hugh Jones, one of my favorite center combinations to watch in World Rugby, will be combining there. And uh, they are so much fun to watch. Just absolutely class. They, you know, they know each other so well. Um, and uh, we've seen them really rip teams to shreds with regards to the way that they can open up defenses. Um, and 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 find space. Um, if you then look at the uh, uh, the bench, it is George Turner, Nathan McBeth, Ollie Cable, uh, Matt Williamson, uh, Ewan Ferreira, Hinko Fenton, a 6-2 split that also then features Jamie Dovey and Ross Thompson. So some staff to play on the bench as well in the form of Ollie Cable, Nathan McBeth, former uh, Lions prop as well. Uh, if we then look at the Travelling Stormers, this is how they do line up. As I mentioned in that front row, uh, international quality in the form of Joseph Dweber and Franz Moherber, the best tight end in the world in my opinion. And they have the veteran, the experience of Brock Harris. So I don't expect this front row to be going backwards. In fact, statistically, they are a side that get the most scrum penalties in the competition. So they don't just use their scrum as an anchor. They use their scrum to um, you know, set up set pieces, to you know, find exits, to move up the field, to find attacking set pieces. It's a weapon. That's the big thing about this Stormers scrum. It's a weapon. And that's because they are backed up by two very large and in charge locks in the form of Salman Rats or Captain Asad and Ruben van Heeren. No Evan Lewis this weekend. So Billy Engelbrecht will don the number six jersey. He'll have Ben Jason Dixon. He's been part of that Springbok alignment camp and uh, Chiba Diamani for company in that loose trio. Uh, the, the halfback pairing will be Hershey Yankees and Mario Ebok, who uh, and they have, Glasgow Warriors have said very blatantly that they will be targeting Mario Ebok, um, given the fact that he is one in their, in their words, not mine, one of the best uh, fly halves in the world. And uh, very much have identified him as, as somebody that they need to to target and to try and get off their game. Because if they can do that, they reckon that's you know one of the best chances they've got of winning this game. So some nice respect being shown to my Nibok there. Uh, ben Loder comes in for uh, Angelo Davis, who's been banned for three weeks for that tackle on Sene and Nahamba. Uh, Sene and Hartzenberg, Warwick Holland, the rest of that back three. Sash Feynman, Gomezulu has shifted from uh, fullback to inside center. Dan Dubrissi will be outside him. Off the bench, it will be Andre Hugo Fenter, Steve Satorio, Neatly Boucher, RJ Smith, Marcel Tennis, and Connor Evans, also in a 6-2 split that then features Paul Devet and Jean-Luc Dubrissi. Battle of the forwards is how you might look at it. Again, in terms of conditions, 4G pitch will come into it. With regards to my predictions for Stormers versus Glasgow Warriors, I think that um, the Stormers don't traditionally travel well in the URC. You know, a lot of the URC success has come at home. So this is a bit of a different um, situation for them. And I think it's an obstacle they need to try and overcome. I do think, however, the Glasgow Warriors at home on a pitch that they know, in conditions they know, uh, are a better side this season. Um, I think it's theirs to lose. And, and I do see it being a close game. Um, so I'm thinking sort of Glasgow Warriors by about five. Um, I think if the Stormers are to get a result, this pack is going to have to um, stand up. You know, the front row of Brock Harris, Joseph Dreyber, and Franz Moherber, if they can start winning scrum penalties, if you can start getting Achieve Diamond into space and then release the likes of 
you know, a, a dandy to see in the midfield. Get Hartenberg into space. Let Warren Gillard cook. Uh, Mindy Buck needs to really take charge and control this game if the Stormers are to get a result. But I think they're up against it and very much not the favourites over in Scotland. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.